This week, I've got a world exclusive interview. World exclusive, world exclusive with Paralympian Liam Malone. He won gold on the track and gave zero shits in his interviews. I'm just a goofy dude from Nelson who just runs in circles and reads books. You know, there's nothing really special to me at all. Bloody good to meet you, mate. Thanks, guy, a fellow <laughs> Nelsonian. <laughs> yeah, good to represent. Thank you for putting Nelson on the map as well. Like, it was very we, difficult to do. We haven't been known for much. It's got some of New Zealand's top fire poi artists, and it's just the place where um, they've built the Winds and the Liquor King into the same building. For efficiency. For efficiency. <laughs> now, I, I heard that you're a big fan of um, Larry David. He'd have to be one of my favorite uh, comics. Normally, a sprinter would have other sprinters as an influence, and you've got Larry David. Look, I'm not a sportsman. Like, I'm a, I'm a non-sportsman. You, no, you're a literally a sportsman. I, I am literally a sportsman who's not a sportsman in a sportsman position. You're telling me you're not a sportsman, but you're sitting in a um, New Zealand Olympic shirt wearing a gold medal. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... Is, is the running just an accidental thing? No, it was, you know, I just... I needed something when, after my mum died, to kind of get me out of this, you know, dark mental space and, uh... I guess Pistorius created a template for how it could be done. Can you stop saying Pistorius? Yeah, I know. He's a weird influence. It's like when I go out to do a comedy gig, I don't talk about like, I wonder what my mentor Bill Cosby would think. <laughs> <laughs> so you hated running. So it's quite amazing that you're now quite good at running. You know, I was the slowest kid at school forever. You had no shit, you had no legs. Like, it's yeah, not, exactly. Not and surprising. Were, not surprising, and they were wooden. <laughs> so that never helped running like a <laughs> pirate. <laughs> It's a perfectly good reason to give up on your Olympic dream. Absolutely, I, I couldn't agree more. I had to give up more. my Olympic dream because I suck ass. <laughs> you could have taken that opportunity. Like, it surely at least gets you a, you know, a slip from the teacher to get out of the you athletics. Know, I, I always wanted to do that, and you know, I lobbied my parents to not let me do it, and they seem to just force me to do it every time. I've got a tiny penis, but they don't put me in the sex Olympics. Not a thing. Not a thing. I just realised that is not... I just can't believe I just said that. All right, that's a mistake. <laughs> what I wanted to do, though, is I wanted to actually find out who Nelson's favourite son actually is. Sure. So what I thought we'd do is we'd call my dad from Nelson and ask him... This is so ridiculous. This is not ridiculous. This is good. <laughs> hey, Gazza, it's Guy. <laughs> Guy. Guy, who? Why are you doing this gag? Yeah, you know me, mate. Why? The reason we're calling is because we need to find out who's Nelson's favourite son. Phil Jones. No, Phil, Phil Jones. Jones. What? Who the f is Phil Jones? The basketballer. You can't, be, you can't be 45 and be Nelson's favourite son. You've grown up. That wasn't even one of the options. There's Guy Williams, award-winning comedian. You might have seen him on the John and Ben show. Yeah, who else? And the other option is Liam Malone, double Olympic gold medalist. Liam Malone currently is, but in recent time, Honey Hinka, he's the homeless guy that lives. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's enough from Gary. I, can I just apologise? The, home, the homeless guy. My dad's a dickhead, mate, and I apologise for that. Because you're from Nelson, you know, we make exceptions. Yeah, bloody good to meet a fellow Nelsonian. Fins up. Fins up, and you've made it out, I've made it out. <laughs> Hey, Liam Malone, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank I you. bloody appreciate thank you for it. Your time. Guy Williams, News Hubs. Get out of it, Liza McCartney.